Charlie. It's to meet you. Uh, do you want to go around the back? This is Jodie. Hello. We're too, too unclean to go through I'll the house. I'll meet you around the other side. All right then. Okay. That's not good. Well, this is nice. I like the arches. Ah, lots of people. And. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Heidi. Tommy. Hi, Jodie. Hi, Tommy. And. and uh, this is my friend Nicola. Hello. Hi, Tommy. <laughs> and this is my Auntie Carol. Oh, Auntie Carol. <laughs> Hi, Auntie Carol. Hi, Hi, Christy. Christy. And then Auntie Heather at the back. Hello, Hello. Auntie Heather. How are you? <laughs> Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. And then Uncle Jeff. Uncle Jeff. Hello, Tommy. All right. Hello, Auntie. Well. Well. See, so you got well. the uh, got the shorts on, Jeff. Yeah. I certainly have. Yeah, I thought yeah. I made the effort. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's go and have a look at the garden. Come right. on. Is this it? <laughs> is there a back entrance in here? No, there isn't. No. Well, they've got all this rubbish tipped in here then. Years of planning and experience. Look <laughs> <laughs> at this. Tell us who we're surprising, Jodie. I was surprising my mum. Uh, she's away at the minute. That's lucky, That's lucky then. Yeah. <laughs> So where is she away at? Uh, she's gone to Leeds uh, to a health spa uh, to get pampered uh, with my Auntie Penny. And do we know what she wants? What she'd like? Out um, the I think she'd like a, would like a Mediterranean type feel. Oh, so would um, I. Wish yeah. I was <laughs> a low maintenance garden because obviously she's not a very keen gardener, as you can see. What a surprise! <laughs> yeah. there go. So what we've done is we've sort of come up with this sort of idea. <gasps> oh. Here, so we're going to have a patio which is going to be on the diagonal, so the slabs yeah, are going to run yeah. that way with a bit of planting around to soften it up. And this is pieces of trellis across here to divide yeah. the garden into sections. And that's going to be lawn, yeah. With this is like a swag, so we've got oh, rope yeah. running between yeah. the pillars, another piece of trellis across there with yeah. an archway, mm. and then we're going to use some pots to accentuate yeah. round with a seating area at the bottom. And this is going to be a pond with oh, waving round. I just can't believe it. <laughs> Is your, mom, is your mum as emotional as this? Yeah. It's a little different to when our researchers call out with that. Mind you, they did find her on a wet Wednesday outside the local supermarket. Excuse me, what made you come out um, on a day like today, coming shopping? Um, basically because I have nothing in and I've just got to do a bit of shopping before the weekend. Is anything special planned for tonight? Uh, no, not particularly. Just uh, having a couple of friends over. Fantastic. Lots of wine. Lots of wine is going to be going in the yes, trolley. lots of wine. Now, this opening has taken so long, I'm a bit emotional. So, can I have a cup of tea before we start work? Yeah, yeah of course yeah. you can. <laughs> Love it. Let's yeah. get the tools out. Cup of the day. Mm, see? Watch the snail. <laughs> They'll find their way back, don't worry. They have this homing instinct, snails. It was holding production up. Oh, that's horrible. Have we got a barrow? A barrow? A tub? A tub or a barrow? Look, I've done so well to take all this upon my own. Your own? <laughs> my own! <laughs> is it a whole accent, that, is it? Yeah. Yes, it oh is. My yeah. Horrible. <laughs> my God! <laughs> all for me. <laughs> One, two, three. I'm, I'm a weakling. I'm a weakling. <laughs> Yes, we did it. 
Have you come from St Mary's? Of course we have. We've got some presents for uh, Tommy and Charlie from St Mary's School. Got school dinners in the world. These are for you, but not all of them. Oh, look at that. It's lovely. Now, let me see. This can I the... take anyone I like? You can take it. They're all as gorgeous as each other. And this young lady over there that's hiding, she made them. Did you? And come on, you come made on. them. No, thank you. you. Lovely. You thank one. you. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Do you know, it's true what they say, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. That's why I became a cook. Charlie, come and get some lip gloss on. Sorry, what's How many is there? Do you want some lip gloss? Aww. <laughs> Thank you. She and this colour is lavender. Lavender. Oh, yes, nice. that's Ooh. lovely. <laughs> she likes that. Ooh. <laughs> Have you done much painting before? No, not really. Let me give you a few tips. Well, on. Then. Okay, just take the brush. Mm. Dip the brush in so you load it. Then wipe it off on the side. That takes off the excess. Because it's um, a panel fence, you yeah. don't want it all running down on your neighbour's side. Right. So then you put it on, get it into the corners. So mm. do the difficult bits first, like that. Work through that bit. And then work the rest of it in. That avoids the paint going down next door. Because if you see, see this panel, look. Yeah. Oh, look at that big fly. Don't kill it. Oh, hold on, let's... No, no, no. What are you doing with it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> You've hardly done any. Yeah, but we're doing a proper job. job. Tommy said we should she do it like this. No, but we're slappers. <laughs> So, can you see how it's going to go? Patio there, staggered trellis, path, gravel path, lawn, up to here, through archway, pond, so you walk round that, seat here, trellis, trellis, disguises back of the garden so she can put her shed there when she gets it. So do you think the lavender colour is very Mediterranean? I actually wouldn't know what coloured Mediterranean colours would be. Well, what, what do you think they would be? Like red reds or... and yellows no. and... No! You think of the Mediterranean, you think of dusky blue colour, the foliage and the flowers, like lavender and rosemary. I like reds and uh -huh. blues or... Reds no, those are hots. Yellows. That would be South American or South right. African colours, very hot colours. Oh, right. Which are, which are not calming. Colours like this are much more calming yeah, well, in the garden. Yeah, likes calming. Mm -hmm. I can understand with a daughter like you. <laughs> well, you're in need of a cup of tea now, aren't you? Absolutely. The soil is lovely. It's really nice soil, isn't it? Oh, really rich and dark. Plants are going to go the moisture as well, so. bonkers. It's good. Right. How are you getting on? Good, not too bad, basically. Leveled all around the edge now, so it's more or less level. The thing to do when you're digging out a pond is to make sure you get that top edge level. It doesn't matter if the bottom slopes, it really makes no difference at all. Then I'm digging it all over to about 10 inches deep. So that's about that depth there. So I'll take that right out. And then what you do is you mark where you want your deep bit. Now I want a marginal shelf all the way round. So I'll probably have mark it out and then I'll dig all this out down to 18 inches. We'll have another barrel of muck in first, right. then we'll go to back to the other stuff, all right? Yeah, okay. What's the time now? Let me see. It is now half past three on day one. Let's give you a little round up of what's been going on. Most of the paving's been done up this end. Kirsty's been having a go with the rotavator and getting the lawn prepared. Charlie's trying to find the shortest route to Australia. She's digging her pond up the back there. The garden's cleared. Most of the fences are painted. The damaged fence panels have been replaced. Not bad progress for day one. And it's lovely and sunny. What we need now is a nice cup of tea. Any chance for a cup of tea, Nick? Of course you can. Do I want a cup of tea? Yeah. Okay. 
I'll go and make them now. Jodie? Yeah? Where did you say your mum's gone? Um, she's gone away to um, a health spa in Leeds. Oh, I see. And she's not been well lately, has she? No, she's just come out of hospital. She's just had a major operation. Uh, she's still off at the minute. That's, she's off for three months, sick. So this will um, be a nice surprise. She'll be able to relax and recover. It will out. be a really nice surprise, yeah. She can recuperate out here yeah, in, the, yeah. in the sun. Yeah, she's just had some more bad news as well yesterday, so it's going to be even nicer for her. So she's going to have to have radiotherapy because she's found that there might be cancerous cells and things. So. Oh, I want us to keep our fingers it is, crossed. Yeah, it? so it's going to be even better. Yeah, it's going to be good. Better news, something to yeah. lift her. Mm. Nice for her when she gets back. Well, obviously, gardening's not one of her hobbies, so what does she like to do when she relaxes? Um, she likes... She's um, recently just done a course on creative writing. She loves to write um, poems, but she also likes to draw and paint. She's very artistic. A bit like she me, looks... actually. Is, oh, is well, it? Yes, oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> yes. Well, not poetry, you know, but... Not writing, but... <laughs> well, not even painting, but... So nothing, really. <laughs> Thank you for that vote of confidence. <laughs> So there we go, we've got, hopefully that's about 18 inches. It is, it's 18 and a half, so that's good. Bit of sand in the bottom now, and up the sides, and round, line her in, fill it, and then hopefully I'll get Tommy to pave around it tonight. 18 inches is deep enough for wildlife to survive in the bottom if the pond freezes. I'm making a latch with a set of instructions, the right screws, a drill and an extra pair of hands. Go away! <laughs> I've just been told to help you. I know, she's stirring. I'm not to listening her. to you anymore. I'll tell you what, I'll go and tell Tommy how to lay paving. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be related to this lot. I am, yeah, I'm Carol's husband, Jeff. Oh, you have my sympathies. <laughs> and who's this young lady? This is Tom, my son Tom. Hello, Tom. Good name, Hello. that is, mate. Um, what about a bit of painting? Yeah, it's fine, yeah. What's that? It's four foot three, isn't it? Look, four foot nine. No, or approximate size. This oh. little letters. Oh, let's see. I bet a man wrote that. And six inches ill. <laughs> we haven't got anybody under that name in the hotel. Uh, would it be under Penny Bullock? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll just yeah. refer you. Okay. Hello. Hi, Mum. Hi. Are you all right? Yeah. You having a nice time? I am, yeah. Okay. So, what time do you think you'll be back tomorrow? Uh, about four or five o'clock. About five o'clock? Mm. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll pro I'll probably ring you anyway. Bye bye. Bye. Back to work, guys. Uh, so, Tommy, are you going to be able to do these slabs for me tonight, do you think? What, round that pool? Yeah. No, I'm not, no. England are playing. I'm Who? going home in five minutes. Who are they? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I have to wait by the phone just in case Sven phones me. They don't call me the cat for nothing, you know. A cack? Did you say? Not cack, I said the cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, you've dug the holes in the wrong place. <laughs> Ready? Okay. So I'll, I'll give you a little indication of what it's like. <laughs> Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> He's outside, I see. <laughs> see you in the morning. Oh, 
Has he left the price on then? Oh, Tommy. a rock on Tommy, grand force, oh, very nice. Good, no, we're good. Thank you. It doesn't get oh, you out of doing any work today. No. <laughs> Order of the day, we're going to go and sort out what we're going to do, and somebody needs, very importantly, put the kettle on. So they're both facing the right way. Who are the label removers then? That was Heather. <laughs> you love ditching everyone right in it, don't you? Yeah. Tommy goes, who, who put the footprint in the concrete? Carol. Yeah. Who didn't take the labels off? Heather. <laughs> I know, they deserve it though, don't they? <laughs> No need to add any water to this mix. It's a dry mix, but the ground water's mixed with it perfectly. Well, the next one to dig a hole that size, but I'm knocking up the wrong concrete. <laughs> That's, I not out there for the fun of it. What was that? The thickness, the size of that hole. I fit into it myself. I'll just translate for you. The next person digs a hole that big and has to go outside and knock up the concrete to fill it. Because he reckons it's big enough for him to fall into it. I think it was Uncle Jeff. Oh. I do confess it was me, yes. <laughs> Revenge is sweet. I hate to tell you the bad news. Either this paving's got a disease of chicken pox or that's rain spots on it. Hopefully it is chicken pox. <laughs> I think it's... Because the slabs will recover from chicken pox. <laughs> <laughs> What else would you like us to do, Kirsty? How about walking up and down these boards for me? That will yeah. level the soil without the soil sticking to your soles of your feet. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> bad. <laughs> Are you off your age? Well, how else do I reach through here then? Tell me. Well, I please. could have put a board across it and you could have walked on the board. Well, that's quite clever how I did that, isn't it? <laughs> I've never thought of that. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> you had a very bad look in your face there when you threw that at me. No, it's not. It's a curly whirly. It's called an auger bit. A U G E R. Cast. They're going that way. Okay, that's great. Oh, pump's working. Wasn't quite where you expected it, though, was it? <laughs> Not level, yeah. but it works all right, doesn't it? Uh -huh. How are we doing, Tommy? All are right. we doing a good job? Yeah, but I can't find a joint. I don't know what's happened to all my it. So I've cut off a bit of hose, and this mm -hmm. will do the same job. You just run it through like that. Yeah. Tommy, you know this drill bit you need? Yeah. Will a hole cutter do? No, because it's no. got to go through a four inch post. No, it's got to go through a four inch post, Dad. Right. Kirsty and I have just started the last bit of planting. This area here is going to be like a woodland spring garden. So we've got lots of woodlandy plants like the hellebores and the euphorbias. And then we've got some spring flowering plants like your shenomalies. And we've got some irises, viburnums. And this, which is really lovely, it's a coralopsis. 
and it's scented. It's almost like a witch hazel, but it's not. It's got these beautiful sort of lemon yellow flowers. Now, what we really want to happen now is Tommy to start laying the paving because we can't finish the planting until he does. 42 mils ideal, but whatever you can get, we're desperate. Lovely. Cheers, mate. Thank, Thank you. you very much. You're an angel. Hello. I better get on. We don't need anything else going wrong. It's now three o'clock. She's due home in just a couple of hours. I've got to lay all this paving around the pool. We've had to cut it to make it fit. The, uh, we're still awaiting a special drill bit to cut the holes through the posts that are going to make the walkthrough pergola so that we can get the rope threaded through. Um, I've got to do all this path here in crushed limestone. We've got to set out the timber work framework there, put the limestone, crushed limestone in there for that path area. We're waiting for two wooden posts to come to make the two panels for the back of the garden here and all the rest of the planting to go in, cleaning up, hide the truck. Turf. And the turf to do as well. Right, we ready to go. <laughs> Search the city of Hull high and low to get this auger bit. We needed it to be 42 mil wide for that size of rope that we're going to use. Now that was like a, like a hot knife through bar. That worked really well. Great. That's the first one. Kirsty. Yep. Skip mum's here. You can go, you can take it. Thanks. Thanks. Is there another cup of tea? I've just kicked mine over. Who wants the tea? Me! You? Yes. Okay, no, it's tea, tea, tea. For you. Not a you, not a C, but a tea. Tea! Shut up! <laughs> no, just one. It's now quarter past four. We've got about an hour and ten minutes left to go, and we've got far too much to explain to you what we've got to do. Far too much. When you're filling the barrels, don't go mad. We're having to lift them over Tommy's slabs and things. Let's have half barrels. Can someone turn the hose off, please? Pull it in. That's it, one hour left. That was five towels of the bell. So, Jodie, have you got your tissues ready? Not yet, but I think I'm going to need them. Go and get them ready. I will. Waterproof I masks. I do Let's this. go. I really don't. Yeah, down there. Can I just ask, do we need any more time? Do we need any more time? What? Time. Yes. Okay, let's pick the speed up a bit, yeah. please. Yeah, they say they're going to be ready for half five. No, quarter to six. Quarter to six? Quarter to six? They're saying quarter to six. Just pick a lots of cups of teas and coffees. <sighs> Somebody bring me a break in, please! Can you just organise like a tank? Just uh, what's, what's up with the pea shingle? Just leave it. So how long have we got, guys? About 15 minutes. So, is there any spare hands? Right, let's go. Quick! Go, let's just get rid of it. Get the plank off. Can you move the ground for truck, somebody? Oh, no, 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 you do that way.
So what's that? Somebody's taking photographs. Uh... I've, got, I've got a little present for you. I've got a little present for you. Oh, I've got a little present for you. Oh, what's this? <laughs> and I've had a few friends helping me. I'll be able to say something. <laughs> when I parked the truck up, I came round the corner and you were getting out the car. I know I'm five minutes early, I'm sorry. I'm so I was driving really Did you slow. Up this? <laughs> I had to hide behind the car and when you went in the front door, I ran through and came out the back door. <laughs> oh, it's absolutely Up to two minutes ago, oh, we were working on it. Lovely. Oh my goodness. I'm afraid the path's not quite oh, finished. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Closest ever. <laughs> We've taken your average long, thin garden and turned it into a little haven for rest and recuperation. The planting varies with the rooms we've provided and as evening falls, there's a little invitation to have a last walk down to the pond just before bedtime. I have to say that, Miriam, without the help of all your family and friends, we wouldn't have been able to pull this off because it's been a real tough task. Here we go, pond. Thank in the you, pond. thank you so much, everyone. Oh, well, yeah. 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 Yes. 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 oh, no, we're never going to hear the end Hi. of this. <laughs> From all the aunties and uncles, yeah. yes? Yeah. Yes. And uh, two Dallas girls. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to we've got a little something for you. We'll talk about that after. <laughs> Seriously. Till the next time, Grand Force. Cheers, goodbye. Cheers. Yes. This is a special little present for Tom. There's <laughs> <laughs> a picture of us. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Was that last night? No. <laughs> <laughs> to all of the Ground Force crew, I just want to say a big thank you for everything you've done. It means so much to me and to see my mum happy again. Oh, they're all going to start crying. <laughs> there we go.